Hi guys, it's me, Angela. So, today I'm actually here to talk about something that's a little more serious. For my Art 110 class, I'm supposed to make a video blog. Basically, wants us to come just talk, speak my mind. I speak my mind all the time. And a lot of the times, the things on my mind, I don't think are worth putting on the internet, but I do anyway, and for some reason, people watch it. I'm going to talk to you guys today about progeria. Progeria is a genetic condition where the children that have this disease age rapidly. And when I say rapidly, I mean by the time they're six, they look like they're 60 years old. So progeria is caused by a mutated gene. It's called LMNA. It makes like a defective protein in the cells and because the cells are unstable the body starts to prematurely age because the body is under the impression that these cells are deteriorating etc kind of thing so your body's going what the heck is this so it starts to age faster it's just it's really sad because on average these children don't live past the age of 13 and they die of of heart disease. They die of, I mean, they. a lot of them will have strokes before they're six years old. Children that don't understand what's going on. They don't know what's wrong with them. They don't know what's happening to their bodies. And could you even imagine like being a parent? Like, how do you explain to your child that they're aging faster than everyone else? How do you explain to them why they don't have hair? when they ask you why everyone else in their classrooms have hair and they don't. There's a group of children that are taking a drug called FTI and this drug is usually prescribed to cancer patients. This drug that they're taking is able to go in and it starts to repair the abnormalities in their cells. For a lot of these children, the signs of their disease are slowly starting to be reversed. On the 2020 special that Barbara Walters did, one of the girls that was taking it, if I remember right, she's starting to grow eyebrows. She was starting to get eyebrow hair in. And I think they said eyelashes too. But this is amazing in itself because this child went from going bald, your body saying, okay, there's no more hair. Your body is letting go of that to completely starting to regrow hair on her face. It's amazing that this drug is able to do that. It's a big step. Why is this important? From what I read online, they know of about 70 children living in the world right now that have progeria, which is not a lot of children. But if they're able to figure out how to or prevent these kids from having heart disease, and heart attacks, that can help us with treating older people that have these same issues. These kids are going through the same thing that our grandparents are going through. By finding a cure or finding a treatment to help these kids, you're also helping a whole other generation of people. One of the major foundations that helps to fund progeria research and also to help the families that have children with progeria is called the Progeria Research Foundation. They also have like a little community where other families with children that have progeria can connect and talk to each other. If you go on their store, they also have things like you can get these banks to raise money, even if you have one in your house and you just drop your change in it and when it's full, send it in. Like every single penny really does count. What I did as far as my part in helping and there's an option on the website where you buy three bands for ten dollars remember like like the live strong bracelets this one's mine um it says together we will find the cure for the progeria research foundation and that ten bucks goes towards helping to research how to find a cure how to find treatments for this disease i'm going to play an audio clip for you and i'm actually also going to provide the link to the video on YouTube, but it's a video of a little girl named Ashley Hagee, I believe it's H-E-G-I, and she had progeria. She made this video at the age of 13, and she made it to raise awareness about progeria and also to 
give some encouragement to any other children out there that have progeria. Ashley died not too long ago at the age of 17, right before her high school graduation. I just, what I want you to do is to watch this clip, listen to this clip, and take it to heart. I've never, ever taken the time to research a disease before, or even go online to donate money to a foundation. I've never cared enough to do that for anything, but something about these children, it's, it's something that I really seriously and sincerely care about and basically like you know if you have the means to donate to this if you have your health if you have a good life and you are able to donate I mean even if you can't donate your time and go to an actual event which is something that I wish I could do go online and donate 10 bucks or get a piggy bank thing and fill it up and send it back in. Don't wait for someone else to do it. Because it's never going to get done if we all have that mentality. So I just want you to watch this clip. And the next step is basically up to you. Hi, my name is Ashley. I am 14 years old. I go to Colhurst High School. I am going into grade 9 in the fall. I like to ride my quad. I love animals and I volunteer at the pet hospital. I really like to watch movies and eat popcorn with my friends. I have a baby brother. He just turned one on Canada Day. I love it being a big sister. I love to go camping in the summer. I also sleep outside in my tent. I can't wait for hockey to start again. If you are like me and have progeria, I would like to share some things with you that have helped me. When somebody stares at you, don't let it bother you because maybe they don't know about progeria. You can tell their, those people about progeria. Maybe they'll understand. And if they don't, it's okay. You, you're one of a kind. You know the truth. When I have chest pain, so basically, that was just a small clip from it. Um, I could not do this justice. Like, I, there's no way I could even begin to explain how serious this disease is and the toll that it has on these families and these children. So, like, really seriously, like, if you can do anything, do it. It's way appreciated. And that's it.